So let's play this guy. Now we have white. Go e4. Um, let's play Italian this time. Bishop c5. Let's do something weird. Let's go, let's say, c3 first. And then um, play something with a delayed castling, like h3. How do they play this? I don't know. Yeah, maybe knight d2, and then we want to go knight f1 with the king on e1. Okay. Um, h6. This actually allows g4. I think Duda played this many times. Okay, let's go for it. So the whole plan of playing knight d2 f1 before castling doesn't have a lot of ideas, but this is one of them. So once black plays h6, sometimes you are happy to play g4, knight g3, rook g1, and try to checkmate. It goes d5, which allows g5. Okay, let's uh, let's jump into it. D takes e4. Yeah, this is reasonable. So we can take on f6 and then take on g7. Or we could even consider playing queen takes f3 simply. He takes on b3, intermediate. Okay, we just take back. Yeah, so now let's think about this. So f takes g7, what's wrong with that? Rook a8, queen takes f3. There is nothing wrong, I believe. He has some e4 there, though. Uh, yeah, let me think about this. So if we just go queen takes, queen takes f6, takes, takes, we take on h6 or we go knight h5 first. Uh, actually kind of like this, okay, let's do this. So now e4 just runs into knight takes e4. So yeah, he has to do the thing. And after knight h5, I think it's quite unpleasant for black. So it's not that knight takes f6 is a threat. The threat is actually rook g1 or bishop takes h6 followed by rook g1. It looks quite unpleasant for him. There is also idea of bringing another rook via h a4 to g4 or h4. Yeah, so let's say here we will just take. Uh, then we take f6. Okay, so now we probably go rook g1. And now I guess we can play rook a4. So knight takes h6, runs into rook h4. And rook d6 runs into rook h4 as well. It looks brilliant to me. Let's do this. So let's check it again. Knight takes h6, rook h4, followed by rook takes h6 is basically checkmate. Rook d6, we can even play bishop g7 check. Knight takes, rook h4 check, knight h5, rook takes h5 mate. We could also start with rook h4 to go for style points. Yeah, so now we can choose which one do we like most. I like bishop g7 to be honest. Also rook h4 is also cool. Okay, it's not it's not nice to spend time um, sh showing off and uh, yeah, choosing between two checkmates. Okay, nice game.